Most mammals on Earth get around on four legs, or two legs, or no legs. But there's one group of marsupials that are moving in a unique way, with five. Kangaroos don't actually have five legs, of course. You can see that they have two powerful limbs in the back, two smaller limbs in the front, and importantly, a large muscular tail. Although best known for hopping, kangaroos spend more time moving slowly than they do moving quickly. And they do this through what has been termed pentapedal locomotion. Pentapedal, of course, breaks down into parts meaning five and feet. Therefore, kangaroos are said to use a five-footed gait when they move slowly. During this type of movement, the kangaroo will plant its tail and front legs firmly on the ground, lift the hind limbs, and swing them forward before repositioning the tail and front limbs to move forward again. The front and the hind limbs move in pairs, with the powerful tail always supplementing the smaller forelimbs. You may be saying, well, maybe the kangaroo is just using its tail to balance itself, like a crutch. You wouldn't say a monkey has five legs just because it hangs on to something with its tail, would you? As it turns out, the tail of a kangaroo generates as much propulsive force as the front and hind limbs combined. It has been found to perform as much work as a human leg moving at the same speed. With the kangaroo's tail doing the work of a leg, that raises the question, why would kangaroos need an extra leg when other grazing animals can manage with four? Researchers theorize that in order to optimize for hopping, kangaroos needed large, powerful back legs and small, lightweight front limbs. Having limbs of such different lengths makes it difficult to walk like other quadrupeds, using one front leg and one back leg at a time to move forward. As a result, it makes more sense to move the limbs in pairs, but the differing lengths leaves the kangaroo imbalanced. This imbalance could result in animals that tipped over when they tried to graze. A large tail to counterbalance reduces that problem. As the tail grew larger and more muscular, it was able to take on a greater role in locomotion and allowed the front limbs to shrink even further, improving hopping efficiency. As a result, the kangaroo of today has a unique gait that relies on five limbs to move forward when grazing. Just don't ask them to go backwards. Because of their peculiar propulsion methods, kangaroos cannot move backwards whether hopping or grazing. This completes our overview of pentapedal locomotion.